Hi everybody, it's Nephi Nikki here. Um, today, I'm supposed to be at CVS. <laughs> but the one I came to was closed, or it's not opening yet until January 11th, so I decided to come and film a little video. As you guys know, I don't have my tripod because I left it back in Maryland when I went home for Christmas, so I'll be recording in random places until then. <laughs> Um, but what I thought would be fun is that um, I'm going to do this tag video or this, I guess a tag video. I was watching uh, BuzzFeed videos today on YouTube or listening to them earlier today and uh, one of them, the two videos that I watched were about men and women discussed heartbreak. And as we all know, everyone has gone through heartbreak at some point in their life, whether it's through a relationship, a family member, a friendship. At some point, you've gotten your heart broken. But I think this one in particular was talking, no, I think, I know this one in particular was talking about, um, like, relationship heartbreak. So, I thought it'd be really fun and interesting to see, to make a you know, little tag video out of it. It's only three questions, so it's super duper short, and, um... And it's fun. I'm not experiencing heartbreak right now. As you guys know, I am happily engaged. Um, but I just still thought it'd be interesting to just tell, you know, tell my story or tell, you know, things, something that I've experienced. Um, and then get you guys' response. So, here it goes. The first question is, oh, and by the way, I have it on a little sticky note. <laughs> the first question is, what is the worst way to be dumped? Um, I have only, <laughs> well officially I've only officially been in one relationship before um, the one I'm in now I did not get into relationships that often um, and that relationship started when I was in high school I was a junior in high school and it lasted until I was a sophomore in college maybe a junior in college it could have been my either the second semester of my sophomore year or the first semester of my junior year. I don't really remember. Um, but I feel like it was my sophomore year. And basically, it was that was the last four years. And basically, he dumped me over the phone in a different state. I was in school in Mississippi. And um, he was back home in Maryland. And he decided that, you know, he wanted something else. So I was devastated. And I was just like... You couldn't be a man and dump me in my, like, you know, person to person. Why would you have to wait? You know, you copped out and did it while I was, you know, away at school. But whatever. His loss, apparently. Um, and the second time, I, I say the first one was official because when I was well after college and well after, actually, no. I have been dumped twice. <laughs> Okay, so the second time was in AmeriCorps. I was seeing this guy or talking to this guy in AmeriCorps. And we were pretty exclusive. Like, people knew we were together. But um, apparently, um, something happened. He was a very emotional guy. And he didn't want to deal with um, something that had happened. I don't even remember. That's how insignificant it is. But he didn't want to deal with something. And he was emotional and got in his feelings. And he just, like, dumped me. And I was just like, what the, like, what I do? Um, but the third time, which I don't really consider this official because we were never really dating. We were just kind of like trying to figure out where we were, um, seeing this guy that I had been knowing for a long time, long, long, long time. And I had like traveled to go visit him and everything. And we had talked and tried to figure out what we were going to do. And then to come to find out like when I, when I left the trip before I left and came back home. We were all good and dandy and we were gonna like set to be together and then I get back to New York and it's just like no I'm, I just that's not what I want and I was completely heartbroken I was that was probably worse than the first breakup because at that point like I just knew like I knew that that was it and that's what I wanted and I was I was blinded like there were a lot of signs that you know that shouldn't have that were telling me not to go that way um but i was i didn't care i was trying to be um i was just trying to do me and that's just what happened so that was that was terrible like that was probably the worst and a lot of my girlfriends know like that that one really hit me hard because i had really really thought like this was that like he was on that we were on the same page and we were nowhere on the same page and he put up a good front 
he put up a really good front um but you know whatever <laughs> like there's nothing I can do about that um and that's you know long gone so that's all right the next question that was three breakups okay three dumps worst way that I have been that I have broken up with someone I've never broken up with someone but I've definitely been talking to guys that were we were not exclusive well no we weren't exclusive like boyfriend and girlfriend I've definitely told some guys like hey I don't want to talk to you anymore the worst way I guess I did it was just like I was graduating <laughs> I was graduating college and the guy I was talking to was a junior super sweet there's nothing wrong with him He's a likable guy, completely cute and everything, but I was graduating and I didn't see any point of trying to continue on a relationship with him when I'm leaving and he's going to still be there. So I just kind of said like, <laughs> like, so I'm leaving and so this is over, right? And he's just like, what? And my locks keep coming out of my butt in the back. And um, yeah, I, I didn't see any other way like any other nicer way to see that other than like we're done but apparently I guess that was the wrong thing because he was not happy with I, he was not happy with me because I hadn't talked to him I think he randomly called me one day when I was living in New York and that's like over four years ago so no almost four years wow it's 2015 I graduated in 2010 five years ago wow um so yeah Last question is, how do you know when a relationship should end? Now, in my mind, our relationship should end when there is no more respect. Like when you and that other person, you're not talking anymore, you're not communicating basically in a healthy way or at all, and you're not even just like acknowledging the fact that the other person exists, then that's when a relationship should end. There should never be a point to where you can't go and talk to the person that you're in a relationship with and then be a cordial respond you know respectable adult relate uh conversation so i feel like once that respect is going out the window then you're pretty much done so so yeah cute sweet and simple little tag that i just kind of made up based off of some videos i just watched um but if you guys have any comments about this t subject of heartbreak because you know we like i said we've all been through it please leave them down below in the description um description box you can't put anything there please leave your comments down below in the comment section I'll be happy to um, engage in this little dialogue with you guys heartbreak is really tough it's really hard but just know at the end of that heartbreak there is some happiness and there's some love and some peace whether you get into a relationship, another relationship or not so thank you guys for watching if you like to see more tag videos please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe thanks guys have a good day bye